Okay, so now we're gonna just we're gonna continue with visualization 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 of data in Python. So now we're just gonna do two more examples to just this tutorial. The first one is a scatter graph. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're going to fig set our figure name, figure six this time, plt.figure, defining the figure object as scatter. And then we're gonna have x5 equals now fig6 dot add subplot like we did before. So we're defining the figure, initializing the figure, adding a subplot, subplot with three ones. And then this time we're gonna have the function called scatter. The first parameter is the values on the x-axis. So our first parameter is minus one, zero, two, three, and five. And our second parameter is the all the values on the y-axis. So we're gonna have two, one, three, zero, uh, 0 0.5, my bad, not zero, four, and that's, there we are. And then we're gonna plt dot show. And there we go, there's our scatter graph. Now, so if we modify our scatter graph by adding two more parameters on, one is list and the other is color, then we get a bubble graph. So we're gonna do the following. So we're gonna have a list here. So here we go, 120, 200, 300, 150, and 30. And then we're gonna have the colors of each bubble, red, you can do it with letters, R for red, G for green, and you can also use the hexadecimal values. In quotes, single quotes, hashtag B, C, D, F, F, zero. This is that hex value. You don't have to do it like this. This is just more technical and more specific way of doing things. B, B, five, five, zero, zero. So to recap, values on the x-axis is the first argument, the second argument parameter or argument, whatever you call them, second parameter is the value on the y-axis, the third parameter is the bubble widths, and the fourth parameter is the bubble colors. And then we're going to show this. As you can see, we got bubbles now. Now we can play with this. Let's make this 1,020. See, it gets bigger. Let's say 2,000, 3,000, 1,500, and 300. So you can play around to get bigger bubbles. All right, let's put that back to normal. All right, so our last example is the pie chart. So figure eight is going to be equal to PLT. This time it's a pie chart, so the same thing as before. Just now it's saying pie. And now we have a parameter, we're gonna have a parameter called, we're gonna have a variable called sizes and set the various various sizes of the portions of the pie chart. So 55, 50, 44, and 36. And then we're gonna have the labels for each one. We're going back to the basketball example with the basketball players. So we're gonna have Wade, James, Kobe, and curry and then we're going to have explode parameter uh parameter uh keep saying parameter um a variable called explode which is going to be have the values 0 1 0 0.1 0 0 0 so be a sequence of numbers series of numbers like this <clears throat> and then we have finally colors for each one so we're going to have red purple And then we're gonna have yellow, then final, oops, I should put that in quotes. Yellow and blue. So instead of, um, so you're gonna see in the plotting plt.py, we have several parameters. So our first one is sizes, which is the list of parts. That's our list of parts is the first parameter, which is this. And then we have 
explode, which tells us if the parts are separated from the whole and by how much. So instead of actually writing everything in the arguments, we're doing we're defining the variables beforehand so it's easy to write. So explode equals explode. Then we have the labels, which are just the part names, pretty simple, labels equals labels. And then we're going to have the colors, which is obviously just the colors of the parts, colors equals colors. And then we're going to have auto PCT, auto, not all caps, auto PCT, with, that's not right. Auto PCT, which sets the format to the output in percentages. So we're going to do the following in quotes. So percentage sign one dot one F percentage sign. Two percentage signs, my bad. There we go. And then we're going to have the next part, shadow. We're going to enable the shadowing. And then the starting angle, start angle equals 140. And then finally, we're going to have PLT axis equal. If you want to look in the details for this, you just refer to the, the documentation for this library and finally show. And we had the bubble graph from before and colors. I had colors, color, not colors. Where is colors? Like line 13. Blue is not defined. Oops, I see I keep running to mistakes or my mistake. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so here we go. Oh, there it is. So we had the shadowing. So let's demonstrate what we had here. So in the pie chart, we have the sizes. We have the explode, which is the separation from this explode 0 0.100. 0. So these aren't apart. This one is. And we have the labels, the, their names, we have the colors, we have the percentages displayed, and we have the shadowing, and we have the starting angle, which is a little tilted. So, and these diagrams are the most commonly used in data analysis, so all the ones we did from the last tutorial and this one. For those of you who are interested in visualization, you can search more about Seaborn, Bokeh, MPLD3, and PyGal libraries on your own in your free whenever if you if you're interested. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial.